Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate uh, how you can integrate Monday.com with Slack. Uh, first of all, we have to create uh, this uh, account on Monday.com and once we do that, we want to go to the bottom left corner where our avatar is or in my case just my initials but if your company got uh, an avatar, feel free to add it so left uh bottom left corner and uh, we want to left click it and go for integrations which is third options from top left and as you can see this pop-up window will show us all the apps we can actually integrate so we want to go with slacks monday.com gives us this option uh, of search on uh, of board or start from a scratch once we go with starts from a scratch, there's a couple of boards that uh, Monday.com provide for us. When they derives, notify in channel. When column changes, notify in channel, and so on and so on. Uh, so it's really up to you how you want to modify it and which one you want to go for. When any updates posted, send it to user, for example. That's a very, very useful one. That's the first way. The second way is actually using Zapier.com. We also need to create an account here, but it's very easy and you can log in with uh, Gmail, for example. But uh, we want to focus on our top left corner where, where option make a zap is. We have to wait for a bit and now we want to name our zap. So we want to go from Monday to Slack. Yeah, like this. First of all, uh, trigger one will be our outcome. Uh, will be our income uh, application, which is Monday.com. We uh, want to choose an event, new update, for example, or new update in board, new board, new item. Let's go with new, uh, new update and press continue. We have to choose the account we created in uh, Monday.com. I already used Monday in three apps, and we want to press continue. Zapier.com actually needs a verification AP from Monday that it's your account, and you will find it in, uh, once again, bottom left corner, you go for admin, and you want to go to API. You have to uh, copy paste this link into uh, your verification. We want to go to continue. You can test the trigger or you don't have to. Second one is action. That's our outcome application, which will be Slack. And that's it. You choose an event, a channel topic, add a reminder, for example, and continue. You just now have to sign into Slack and you are basically all set up to go. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.